Relay, Calmatic, take one. I got my start through music. You know, I started off making beats and rapping and, you know, hanging out with a bunch of artists around LA doing music. Music influences the way I direct, it influences the way I edit my videos. Like, I treat editing like I'm making a beat. Like, so I, I do all my cuts on like the little in-between intricate sounds that people don't even really hear. Like, to me, like, the, the edit has its own, you know, beat to complement the beat of the actual song. I think my personal directing style is definitely influenced by music. It's just the medicine for the heart, the brain, the mind. Me coming up the way I came up, you know, I was kind of forced to do everything because I didn't have the resources. I've worked with Kendrick Lamar. I've worked with pretty much every artist in TDE, um, Snoop Dogg, Corrupt, Terrace Martin, the internet from Odd Future, uh, this group Overdose. I worked with them super close for a while. Esperanza Spalding, she's dope too, man. She's super cool, super talented, uh, very smart. Funny. Anderson Pack, um, you know, when I first got my camera, what I used to do too, I used to go to open mics around LA. So uh, I, I would go to like this spot in Lamert Park and there'll just be like 20 people in the crowd and somebody on stage rapping and I would film it. And then one night I went there and it was some dude rapping and playing the drums at the same time. And I was filming him and I was like, yo, who the f like, like, what is this? You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. And after that, we exchanged information and, you know, I think the first video we did, which never came out, like I did it for like $300. We filmed it in like an hour and a half. And you know, I was like, all right, this is the beginning of something. And you know, throughout the years, we just kind of kept in contact and little by little people start recognizing his talent. And then next thing you know, Dr. Dre calls. Next thing you know, you know, Kendrick Lamar called. Next thing you know, he's like one of the top artists in the world. And so, you know, when, he, when it was time for him to make that big video, he came back to me and then we just kind of kept the thing going. I mean, in terms of my creative process, it definitely depends on the artist and the situation at hand. I mean, some artists come having a full concept of what they want to do and some artists just trust my vision to like take the song and make it what I want to do with it. I did a music video for the soundtrack for Insecure last year, the song with uh, Bryson Tiller and uh, Jasmine Sullivan. So I was able to shout out director Stella McGee. She's uh, she's really dope and you know, it, it was just dope to see the whole process of how television is made. You never see those stories on screen, you know what I'm saying? And the fact that she's from LA, you know, my neighborhood that I live in now, it's just good to see that on camera as well. It definitely inspires me to, you know, create and, and, and keep that vision going for sure. A piece of advice for upcoming directors is to really find an artist that you love musically. Find an a underground, unsigned artist that, you know, go to an open mic and find someone that stands out to you and connect with that person and, and make as many visuals for that person as possible. You know, I think it's really important, you know, especially nowadays, you know, I don't know where I would be if it wasn't for the group Overdose and like my attachment to them and them allowing me to like, you know, practice my craft through them. I think the most challenging part about being a director is dealing with expectations and and not even with other people's expectations but with your own expectations as a creative. I mean, you know, when you go into something, when you have an idea in your head, it's like this big idea, everything's perfect, the lighting looks a certain way, everybody's wearing a certain thing, the colors are popping, and then when you get to the set, like it's like the complete opposite. And I think the hard, the hard thing sometimes is to understand that that's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's still gonna be a dope video. People are still gonna enjoy it. Your okay is better than a lot of people's perfect.